some more thoughts on the driver. Um, and I, <laughs> I can almost hear you saying, you know, now, uh, if you saw our other little video about this throwing concept and feeling that from the top of the swing, our hands start the club head. Oh, you're casting. Casting's a completely different thing. So-called casting is when we get to the top of the swing, arms and shoulders force. The last link of the chain are the wrists, which end up throwing the club head out. But it all comes from this force. If I don't force it from my shoulders, but use my hands, as you go to throw it, what actually happens? Instinctively you move. It's like the old skimming the stone thing. You kind of instinctively move into it. The time you throw it, you're at, you start throwing here, but actually it's all happening down here. Exactly the same principles happen. So to getting it from turn hinge and that throw, felt quite nice. Um, no, no physical effort involved. Everything came from the hands and wrists. And that one, a wee bit further, we're up to about 235 now. Um, and as I say, turning more and giving it more speed, the ball will go even, you know, further. I would expect to, uh, I suppose my own carry distance is about 260 when I'm all kind of loosened up and so on. Um, one other little hint, and I remember years ago, oh, many years ago, going to play and I said to really good player, oh, I'm really playing it bad off the tee. And he said, right, just visualise you're going to hit 18 inches behind the ball. And I'm, I was driving over there actually thinking, what on earth are we talking about? I just, I, uh, anyway, I thought, okay, let's just let's have a think about this. So we got to the course, warmed up. Um, and I was a bit worried because this was a, a, a tight tree-lined course. And uh, I thought, I've got to keep it in play. Anyway, long and short of it is, warmed up, got into the first, visualised from here that I was actually trying to hit the ground here. Hit a screamer down the first. Anyway, shot like 65 that day, really pleased, didn't miss a fairway, everything was solid. And I, I said to, it was actually my boss at the time, a really good player, and he'd spotted that I was actually doing what so many golfers do, getting to the top and almost hanging on, almost trying to create the lag by tension and, you know, and, uh, and but, but really freeing up and trying to visualise this idea of hitting down, you don't actually do that. Everything else becomes really in sync. So that's another tip. Remember, your, th your hands are throwing it past you. And from here, same feeling of almost just, uh, almost get that feel of throwing it down. I guarantee you, as soon as you go to throw it, everything will move and you won't actually do this. And you might be surprised how far it goes. Be worth trying it with uh, getting your friend or something just to hold your phone up, your camera on the video, and just having a look. One, two, and then just throwing it through there. Again, nice strike there. Uh, that one's getting a wee bit further now. That's getting closer to, yeah, 235 again. And that's all I've done. So remember, the feeling hands in control, no shoulders, getting the club from behind you, past you.